CIA thinks I'm working for Al Qaeda? I think you're working for Al Qaeda. A little bit of drama, and that's a show on Showcase, or Showtime rather, but it's actually perhaps going down in Canada right now. News breaks over the weekend that a senior investigator on an integrated high security national security team has been in a romantic relationship with a, an Iranian businessman linked to that country's intelligence community. And joining us now from Ottawa to talk about this is our friend David Harris. David, welcome to the show. Help me uh, figure out who's who in the zoo here. Who is the woman uh, from our intelligence community and who is the man from Iran? And what is the nature of their relationship? And what alarms has this set off? Well, I guess last first, uh, some pretty darn big alarms. The woman in question who has worked with the passport office in Canada, so you can just imagine the kind of access that that office would routinely have to security-sensitive matter. Uh, this individual, a woman, has uh, apparently been connected to uh, a fellow described as an Iranian or possibly Iranian-Canadian business person uh, with possible interests in Venezuela. She has had her access, according to public statements by the government, to sensitive information cut off. And, uh, I think that's in there, Arian Azerbar. He does look like quite a handsome man. Well, here's one of the things that's very interesting. Uh, for those of us who are outside the Quebec milieu, this, of course, came as something of a shock uh, for very good reason. But there has been some burbling and bubbling in Quebec uh, for a little bit so far because there have been what appear to have been scandals uh, associated with the Montreal police. And there is a question, it has not been resolved effectively, but there's a question about whether this same Iranian gentleman uh, may himself have been involved as an informant or on other levels with a fellow who had formerly been known as a star detective, a vedette, as they say in Quebec, on the Montreal police, a fellow who had been looking into what was described as Lebanese organized crime, big time sensitive stuff and in a context where some of the criminal issues may have overlapped with Hezbollah terrorist issues, not excluding the possibility, it is rumored, of uh, issues involving weapons of mass destruction and other such things. So in the end, to make a long story short, this uh, detective seems to have been at least suspended from his responsibilities in the Montreal police. And it is alleged that the Iranian fellow we're talking about may have been one of his informants. So things get curiouser and curiouser, and of course the questions about what exactly the nature of the relationship <coughs> excuse me, might have been between the Iranian and the passport official, the emergency squad person, as we might describe her, uh, become more and more compelling. Well, uh, this uh, Arian Azerbar certainly does uh, focus on those in law enforcement and intelligence. That, uh, you, who knows? May, uh, I mean, I would have no information other than what I've read in the press and what you've told me. Perhaps he's playing a double game. I mean, you have, I have no idea. Do we know if this guy is a Canadian citizen? He looks, uh, I mean, he's wearing a tie, which the Ayatollah types certainly don't wear a tie. It's too Western for them. Do we know if he's from Canada or goes back and forth? What, what do we know about him, if anything? Well, there have been some suggestions that he might go back and forth. It's not clear to a certainty to me that he's uh, Canadian or Canadian-born. I think the suspicion is there. He seems to have business interests in Venezuela, which, again, may be a crossover with that Montreal police detective fellow who was alleged to have had shared business dealings in Venezuela with an Iranian businessman. Oh, good Lord. Now, and we know that Ahmadinejad really, Ahmadinejad and Chavez, both of uh, Chavez's dad, Ahmadinejad, is no longer the president of Iran. They embraced, they had uh, economic deals, they had military deals, and, and of course Venezuela was regarded as sort of a jumping point for uh, uh, Iran's sort of foreign military expeditions. That, again, it's just not, it, it just sounds too much to be a coincidence. And, and Ezra, Ezra, there may be yet another level to this that hasn't really been fully discussed, uh, certainly not in English Canada. A few years ago, actually in recent years, another police detective with the Montreal police was charged for having got into computers at the police uh, station and perhaps shared information in an inappropriate way. Now, he was convicted, his case is on appeal, and he appears to be claiming that the first police detective to whom I referred, who may be connected to the Iranian, 
could have been part of some broader effort to frame him, maybe in light of what is alleged to have been efforts made by this most recent, this, this earlier uh, police detective to alert to the chain of command in the Montreal police to, uh, shall we say, inappropriate dealings between the, uh, the most recent police detective on the one hand and uh, Iranians or others on the other. So this is a concern. It's also been suggested by sources here in Canada that the Montreal Police Terror Unit, or one particular terror unit, might have been closed down in recent years. And there are concerns about why that may have occurred, and further, that a New York Police Department liaison officer who had formerly been attached to the Montreal Police has, uh, in effect, been removed and gone home. So what we have now is a crisis of confidence within the Montreal Police Service itself, uh, there are questions about who might have penetrated and to what extent that uh, police service and uh, why the terror unit was apparently disbanded at a time when, of course, Montreal is thoroughly infested by Islamic extremist uh, radicals and possible terrorists. Huh. David Harris of Insignus Research, it's great to have you on the show. This is a strange story. Let's uh, keep in touch on this one as it unfolds, okay? Will do, Esther.